that breaking headline involving COVID and the youngest children in this country. Tonight, Pfizer officially asking the FDA for emergency use authorization for its COVID vaccine for children as young as six months old to five years old. Many parents, of course, have been waiting for this. In this country, the newest numbers tonight on children, 808,000 testing positive last week alone. Pfizer's request to the FDA is for a low dose of the vaccine to be administered in two shots. The company saying they expect three doses will be needed, but they submitted this new data for the two shots because of, quote, an urgent public health need, they said. The concern for children remains very high, and tonight we're inside this hospital in Texas, where 10 to 15 percent of expected mothers who come in to deliver are testing positive. Some new moms now quarantining from their newborns. But first here, how soon could the FDA decide on this new request from Pfizer for the youngest of children? ABC's Maria Villarreal leading us off tonight from Texas. Tonight, Pfizer is formally asking the FDA for emergency authorization for its vaccine for children six months to five years old. The company says it expects three doses will be needed, but because of what Pfizer calls an urgent public health need, they are submitting the trial data available now from just two doses. We may see an emergency use authorization by the end of February or early March, so hopefully shots are into those little arms not that long after that. It comes after reports two to four-year-olds in the trial didn't generate a strong enough immune response after the second shot. Tonight, one member of the FDA advisory panel, Dr. Paul Offit, telling us they will want to see all the data before making a recommendation. I can tell you, everybody that sits around the table at the FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee is a skeptic, and we're, gonna, we're not going to approve this until we're comfortable that we would give it to our own children or our own grandchildren. Last summer, three-year-old Christian and 14-month-old Sloan Bowie got two doses of the vaccine as part of the Pfizer trial. Christian had low-grade fever for maybe 12 hours after his second shot, but other than that, the kids have flown through this whole process with flying colors. Across the country, pediatric COVID infections dropping for the first time since Thanksgiving. Weekly cases down nearly a third since the peak. But along the South Texas border, Omicron is still surging. We're still in the pandemic, right? Absolutely, yes. Pandemic is still present. We're still having waves and big ones coming, and I'm sure will be more coming in the future. At DHR Health in McAllen, Samantha Reyna, who was unvaccinated, testing positive while she was in labor. They told me that I was positive, and I didn't know. Were you shocked? Yeah, I was. I was actually completely shocked. Samantha quarantining away from her newborn to protect him until they could be reunited after her release from the hospital. She now wants to get vaccinated and is considering the shot for her son, too. And Maria is with us live tonight from Texas. And I wanted to get back to this news coming in tonight. Pfizer's request for emergency use from the FDA uh, for their vaccine for young children. So walk us through the timeline here. How soon uh, will the FDA meet on this? So, David, this whole process starts with an advisory panel holding a public hearing in about two weeks. From there, the FDA does have to sign off. They send their data to the CDC for approval after that. The whole process usually moves pretty quickly, but regulators have made it very clear. When it comes to vaccine authorization for children especially, they are not going to rush the process. David? All right, Maria Villarreal tonight. Maria, thank you. Hi, everyone. Ooh, imagine that, huh? Six months old. Parents will get that a fucking nuts.